Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Original. In the last couple of episodes, I forgot to grab Ribbon, which was in Area 5. You know the clock, the spinning clock wheel? It was in Area 5. I think we did 4 to get Princess Guard, and we skipped 5 for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, we did. And uh, that was how we get the Ribbon. There was a box, the last chest in the starting area that you can only get to through that clock face. And, um, let this be a lesson to you all. Make sure you get the ribbon, because I don't have a save file anymore that is, that has, uh, the Temple of the Ancients still alive. At least not one within the last hour or so, um, because I saved over it, because I'm very smart. I've done so well leapfrogging, super hard. And then I, I switched to doing just the two save leapfrog, and then <laughs> I, I screwed myself out of getting it. Oh, well, I deserve that. All right. But let it be known, if you guys want ribbon, hopefully you still have a save file back there if you're playing along, uh, and go grab it, because it's one of the best items in the game. It basically negates all status ailments to your characters. It's great. Very, very powerful. Um, oh, well. It's not the end of the world, you don't need it, but it will help a lot with end game content. So, if I find a way to cheat it into the game, I might. I might just cheat an extra ribbon into the game, because, uh, there's no way to get it back. You can't, like, come back to the Temple of the Ancients once it's destroyed, but yeah. Anyway, I just want to get that out of the way to just mention that I'm an idiot and I saved over the file and there's no way I can go back. And, uh, I wish I could. I was literally getting ready. I was like, I got my coffee. I was like, alright, I'm just gonna chill out, play for about an hour before I record. And, you know, get this ribbon and show it, right? And then I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys, I'm an idiot. Oh well. Uh, anyway, here we are. Excavating is great. It's like a history of the planet told in the land. All right, we gotta excavate some crap here. I'm not entirely sure what we need here other than the hairpin. Or the, not the hairpin, uh, the harp? Whatever it's called, the flute. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. I shall. The forest just beyond here is called the Sleeping Forest. Right now, the forest is asleep. Anyone who wanders in is, uh, while it's asleep gets confused. You can go in, but you may never come out. But just now, a girl in pink and a man in a black cape went in. You think they'll be alright? Oh, shit. Well, there you go. The newest system to find buried treasure. We use bombs to make earthquakes and then check the sound waves given off by the tremors. Interesting. Uh, you can awaken the sleeping forest if you have the lunar harp. Aha! Once you once awake, they say the forest will open a road for you. The girl in pink who just went in used the lunar harp to get through. Oh. Uh, well, I would like a lunar harp. Ask the guy at the temple. Oh. All right. Interesting how we were able to ask him about the Lunar Heart before we even uh, need to do anything here. And then we just go to him, right? The Lunar Heart is somewhere in the ground here. We can we can excavate it for you if you want us to. Uh, let's say not right now, because I need to see what other items we can get here. So I'll be right back, and I'm going to go search it up. Alright, as expected, there's a wiki that literally has tiny baby squares that tell us where to go. <laughs> uh, obviously, you'd have to experiment and figure this stuff out yourself. I'm not doing that. I've never done that, man. I've always had the strategy guide back in my day. Back in my day, us kids had to buy a $20 strategy guide just to figure out goddamn shitty mechanics. I mean, you're really supposed to, like she said, you're supposed to find these points by listening to tremors in the ground, and, like, if you miss everything, then everyone's, like, looking at the direction they need to go to find the item they need, and... It's weird. It's weird. But uh, there's a lot of items we can get here, like the uh, the key card. I don't know if we can get it. I think Nightwind said that we have to actually talk to the guy at Midgar, uh, who's like, I can't get in to get the uh, the key. We'll try and get the key anyway. Uh, it's right next to the Lunar Harp, so we might just get the Lunar Harp. But I don't think it matters, because we can still get everything. Uh, so let's start digging. Other than the Lunar Harp, what else do you want us to dig for? Uh, I don't know if we're supposed to go for good treasure or normal treasure. Let's just go for good treasure, all right. All right then, I'll lend you some of my staff. Show us where you want us to dig, okay. So, triangle to do that. Uh, apparently all the buttons don't want to show up anymore. All the, like, interactables. All right, I 
see if I can zoom in on this thing over here. There we go. Oh, yeah. The power of control scroll reel on, um, on Google Chrome. Okay. Yeah, to make sure we get it just right. So, we want... Um, I think we want three of these items here. We want this bad boy here. I think this is about right. This is going to be the Lunar Harp. Uh, square, sorry. Order a search, yes. Of course, every video game I play on this channel has different control schemes. <laughs> and then it's just throwing me off. Okay. This seems about the spot. It's like right next to it, and this is the key card. You only get these items once. And there's another item here. I don't know which one this one is, but it's labeled as three, and it's, and it's white. So, therefore, it's going to get once. So, we'll do... Uh... Yeah. Do it. I wonder how many I could order. Can we get all of them in one go? kind of wonder. There's another one over here. I don't know what it is. But it's not... It's not highlighted as anything, so you know what? I think if they're white, it's still, you can only get them once, so we might as well try to get them once. That or the guy made it black. Oh yeah, you know what? That's the only one that's black. <laughs> so that might be because it was just too difficult to read. Okay, then we'll do this one then. I know, I'm a dirty cheater. I'm sorry. After losing the ribbon, I, d I can't lose it again. I can't lose another ribbon, even though there's no ribbons here. I can't do it. No. All right, that's that one. I don't think you can get all these at once, though. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm probably wasting all my money here. It's another one, like right here. Oh, do it! We blew it up. All right. Staff members will calculate the tremors and dig up the buried uh, up the buried item. The dig point is where the staff's line of vision meets. Oh. Oh no! I didn't realize this. Okay. Like right here. Now staff will dig here. They're all going to four. Bastards. All right. Let that be a lesson learned. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember how to do this shit. Are we supposed to like? Hmm. All right. Well, give me the. I think that's an elixir or something. Oh, bunt line. Okay. Well. All right. I don't even know what that is. Bunt line. It's probably some weird weapon for Vincent, I guess. All right, take two. Start digging. I want a lunar harp. Uh, yeah, let's just get the lunar harp out of the way. All right. I want to see if we can do this without actually using anyone. Even with a guide, I have failed because I I forgot. Like they all look at a certain point, so you can't grab them all. Okay, so we want this one right here, right? Uh, done. All right. I know I'll do it right here. All right, right here. Right here. Free! Free bombs for all. Excellent. All that money spent, worth it, because we didn't pay a dime. All right, what do we get? The Lunar Harp. Oh my god. We're dirty cheaters now. <laughs> to be fair, I effed up pretty bad. All right, so we don't need a Lunar Harp anymore. We can't actually get another one. Let's go. Good treasure. I think it's good treasure. I don't know what the difference is. I'm assuming normal treasure is like an elixir. You know? All right, so this is about the point where the, uh, the other item is. So we'll do this one. We'll say we're done. We'll blow everything up. And then we'll dig right here. Dig away, my friend. Why did I put my coffee to my left? Something more weird when you're into like a certain routine when you're drinking some sort of liquid. Nothing in here. I knew it. So that was for the key card. And uh, so we're going to have to go back to good old Midgar. Sorry, I clicked off screen for a sec. You know what? I'm going to pause it real quick. Be right back. All right, so yeah, uh, we can't get the security card until we go back to Midgard, so we'll probably do that in a sec. Might as well grab the other items though. We need five and six, which are down here somewhere, so we're gonna do that. Start digging, sir. 
Uh, we also can get like a Megalix or whatever. I think... The good treasure is like gonna be the item, right? So five will be this one. This is a mop we're getting. I have no idea why, but we are. Almost looks like X marks the spot right here, doesn't it? I'm done. We got it. We got it, boys. <laughs> I found it. Cloud has a weird detection meter under his boots, right? That's what it is. It literally looks like an X right there, doesn't it? All right, what do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Damn it. Damn it! Come! Start digging. Perhaps normal treasure? If that's what it is. Try again. Done. Did we get it? <laughs> Maybe we're a little too far to the left, I don't know. Makes one wonder. Damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! How come I can't get this thing? Ah, whatever, let's go back to Mingar. Let us go on a trip, my friends, to Mingar. This is a filler episode, as we all know. Although, what episode? Can you truly call it a good episode if it's not a filler episode? I mean, come on. We have all this drama, we have to go save Aerith. What does Cloud decide to do? <laughs> Let's go back to Midgar. Oh my god, it's right here! Well, I totally forgot like the map layout in every way, shape, and form. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what this save file is, but we gotta fix our leapfrogging, so. Ah, oh, yes, look at Midgar. I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like in Remake Part 2, dude. Because obviously the world map design and everything here is kind of like... Oh, there's no dude here. Okay, I guess we can't talk to the guy yet. Hmm. I thought there was supposed to be a dude just hanging out like, Hey, I can't get in. Maybe it's in Disc 2. But yeah, uh, the, the world layout is supposed to be like... Final Fantasy 1 through 6, where like your tiny little buildings on the world. Obviously, Midgar is much bigger than that, but then all the other towns are kind of more similar to the original. Look at it, man. One big old pizza. Although, one of the plates is a knockdown. Hmm. Crazy. Ah, I see this game also kind of suffers a little bit from those weird square platforms there. Like, Final Fantasy 8 has this issue too, a lot. Especially 8 Remastered. Oh my god where it has like these little squares in the ground. There is a way to fix it with a mod, but um, I just wanted to up everything. I didn't want to like change every texture in the game to be crazy over the top. I mean, even these backgrounds, I don't know if I like them more than the original. They are a little too high res at times. Stab them. At least these guys are easy peasy. Oh man, I do love Sid's retexture though, the Neo style one. Ugh. I'm so happy I'm using Sid now. He's one of my favorite characters, man. A lot of the characters are quite lovable. I know uh, Kate Sith gets a lot of hate, but I actually really like his design. I think his design is hilarious. It's so good. Alright, well, we got the Lunar Harp. The only thing we can do now, I guess, is try and get that Mega Elixir. So uh, let us try and do that. I think it's number six, which is right next to the dude. It's this little square nub here. Well, let's give her a shot. Let's do... I don't know. I guess it's a good treasure. Could it... You're gonna get one of them. All right, this seems like the spot. Done. Please, 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 please. Hey, we did it. All right. We'll save it so we never have to do that shit again. <laughs> oh, 
yeah, we can't get the security card, sadly. So we gotta go back to Sector 5 and Walmart it. But, sadly, no access. Not yet. Can we talk to this lady? She's just hanging on the side, you know. This little half ladder. Alright, y'all. In we go. Time to go save Erisu. A sleeping forest awoke. Uh-oh. Oh! I saw it! Did you guys see it? Where is it now? Where is it now? Where is it now? Oh! <laughs> Shit! It was right there, dude! Oh, no. Get over here, you bastard! Yes! Kujata! the hell is Kujata? I don't even know. I'm deeply disturbed. Um... Okay, instead of Ramu... We really should be leveling these bastards, but... It's Kujata! I don't know what Kujata is. Shit. Up we go. Wata wing. All right. Uh. Rip. All right, Sid is our mage now, so we gotta make sure that he can get everyone. Also, also, also. Hit him with the matra. Oh, don't make us dance. We don't like that shit. All right, y'all are fired. Dude, Cloud is just out cold on the ground right now. Good damage, good damage. Gotta keep our booties alive. We're all blind now, which means even magic can miss. But not that bad. He got 20 MP back for that. Oh no! Oh, he just learned death sentence! Perfect! What the hell, bro? Oh, that's their death, uh... Animation, okay. Good job, Sid, you're already killing a bunch of dudes. He needs to catch up real bad. I really don't like the look of that trident, though. Oh my god, it's just some pitchfork he found out of nowhere. Got some dazers, so I'm assuming he can, like, confuse or stun enemies. All right, bear with me here. I have no idea where to go. It's again, it's been a very long time since I've played this game. So, I mean, I think it's, I think it's been like what five years since I played this on stream. My God. Uh, let's just do. I really like the Matro Magic, dude. <laughs> the fact that they get knocked out cold is so funny to me. We're all fired. Probably heal myself. Oh, there you go. Good job, Sid. Yeah. All the XP. All right. Uh, Claudio. There you go. Keep Tifa alive. Very good. I need this arrow to keep me sane because I have no idea where we're going. All right. I know we can go out there, but all right, you never know, man. Could be secrets, man. Or an extra encounter, because I went the wrong way. Fools! Yeah! MP Absorb seems to be extremely valuable in this game. Not only in this game, but also in the remake. It's just like, yes! Amazing! Get all the MP back, baby! Alright, go get him, Sid. It just works too well, man. Oh, there you go. Ba -bum -ba -da. Well, there goes my coughing on. Rip. Rest in peace. I think we're like walking on a weird 
like a skeleton, aren't we? Really gorgeous area, though. But at least if I get rid of the uh, the stupid arrow on the top of my head. Imagine walking through the whole game like this. You know how long that would take? <laughs> trying, trying, man. Apparently, in the PSX version, you didn't have eight way, eight directions of movement. You had like full 360 degree directions of movement. As far as I understand it. Oh no, he can make us tiny! Oh crap. Mini is probably the strongest ability ever, isn't it? Because it makes the enemy only do one damage. Dude, I'm really liking Sid. His damage is actually pretty solid for someone that hasn't been on the team ever. I guess early on, a lot of your damage is based off the weapon you use, right? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I totally forgot. This is like that weird... A weird area. I think the developers wanted you to be able to save before this bit. So yeah, no regrets. No regrets. Oh, I actually have a save file at 2539. Shit. You know what? I'll save that one. Alright, we're going back up to the top for, uh... Our leapfrog. We'll do a triple leapfrog at this point. <clears throat> Tentacle term. God damn, man. I don't think any game could really top this game's soundtrack. I don't care what anyone says, dude. As much as I say Final Fantasy Tactics is my favorite game in the series, I still think 7 has a better soundtrack, even though Tactics has a perfect soundtrack for what it is. <clears throat> so good. What a cool environment. Guard source. We need to block more. I guess there's nothing over here, so we'll keep going. I think if we kept kept heading straight, that would continue on the story, but I don't remember. I don't remember if we need something on the side or not. I'm just kind of exploring. The elixir, nice. Can always go for another one of those. Well, this place is definitely lived in. Yeah, and it looks pretty comfortable too. Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. I don't know what's going on. Shall we uh, take a break here? I blame Sid. His, uh, smokerisms are getting to me. Uh, here's a bed. Get some rest? Yeah, sure, why not? Free. Who the hell? Okay, so there's a bed in the middle of the... Te not Temple of the Ancients anymore. Sleeping Forest? Do we know the name of this place? Wait, what the hell? I feel it. Do you know what time it is? Aerith is here. And so is Sephiroth. What, what? Wait a minute! You damn serious? But how can you tell? It's not an excuse. I feel it in my soul. Shit, Cloud! Can't be sitting around on our asses! Right. Let's hurry and find Aerith. I like how they all run into Sid. Forgotten capital. Shit, I didn't realize this was supposed to- I thought we slept here later and not- You sleep here and then it progresses the story. Oh well, I don't care. I'm not sure where she is. Train graveyard soundtrack. What? Oh! Oh, that looks like a materia, dude. Oh, this is like an area that we come to much later. Right here. I think we have to head back, but I'm going to continue going the wrong way. Any combat? We have to find Aerith. Oh shit! They're doing remake does that a lot where they're like, you gotta follow the story, bro. <laughs> Aerith's voice coming from there. Look at this area. It is so gorgeous. Oh, 
like a giant conch shell or something? Comet! Uh, hey Sid, you want a really powerful ability? How about instead of gravity, we do Comet? Yeah! There we go. Mm-mm-mm. Lovely. I like it. Now, if only we had magic counter. <laughs> Wait, what? Isn't this where we're supposed to go? I'm confused now. Oh, right, isn't it? Oh, there you go. There you go. There's this weird ice staircase going down the middle. Oh, man, Kingdom Hearts. I now know where Tetsuya Nomura gets all his ideas. Like the intro to Kingdom Hearts 1, <laughs> but reversed. It is Kingdom Hearts! Oh my god. I can't believe it. Alright guys, we're gonna pause it here. I know, I know. Crazy story elements are coming up in the next episode. I hope to see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the series so far. If you do like it, consider giving it a thumbs up as it supports the channel. Tell your friends about it. And guys, I'm Macabine101, and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.